What's up guys, Dark Dally here playing Ghost Recon Wildlands and today I want to bring you yet another episode of Ghost Recon Wildlands Best Outfits and Customization. I think we're on part 12 now. It's going pretty fast because we're getting so many submissions of just awesome outfits. I had to do another one of these today. So if you're running out of outfit ideas, here's some here's four really awesome and very contrasting ideas for you for cool outfits. These are... Well, let's have a look at them. There's a lot behind these. First of all, we're going to have a look at Nomad. Let's go ahead and have a look at him here. This is actually based on... This is this was submitted by Candlejack, and this is based on apparently a real-life Delta operator named Dusty. I guess it's the only name he's known by. And this is based on pics of him that were taken during Operation Enduring Freedom back in Afghanistan. And uh, he made it pretty, I mean, this is like really uh, close to the pictures here. I'll show you some of the pictures. Yeah, yeah, this is really faithful to the pictures. So let's go ahead and have a look at this outfit. This is a cool operator like looking outfit. I like it. So we're going to start up here. Is there anything special in the head? Yeah, we need lumberjack, shaggy hair, um, brown, shaggy brown hair, lumberjack and brown. I'm oh, sorry, not brown, blue eyes. There we go. We're going to move down to body details. No, nothing there. Okay. Moving down to clothes, tank top in blue and JPC in black. Uh, so we got cargo A pants in DCU tricolor hiking shoes in coyote brown. Moving on to the accessories for Mr. Dusty. We have eyewear, Oakley straight jacket fire is the sunglasses he chose to most closely match these pictures and Shamog in green. However, he also mentioned, and for some reason, I don't have this, even though I've unlocked everything available in the battle crates. Somehow I don't have this tactical scarf he mentioned, and I want to say khaki tan, but um, I don't have that. So I went with the alternative, which is the green shamog. All right, so headwear, we have baseball cap backwards in khaki tan. Headsets, we just have an earpiece and uh, forest green. Nomex gloves and just neutral. And whoops, and then we have camelback in black um somehow i have patches he actually didn't specify any patches so we'll just take these off and there we go there's your uh authentic dusty delta operator outfit there on nomad okay let's go ahead and see who we have on midas oh this is a great one this is a great one this is awesome this was submitted by kaiser scheidler uh forgive me if i'm mispronouncing your name and i'm pretty sure you guys can all tell the theme on this one i saw this one and i had to do it here we have a, um, a snake from, from Metal Gear Solid-esque um, uh, outfit. I love it. It's great. I did change one thing on that, and uh, I'll get to that. Um, I, I did take the liberty of changing one thing. Let's go ahead and have a look at what makes up the snake outfit. First of all, I, he didn't specify a head, but I went through the heads, and as far as I can tell, Sparky is the closest one to um, looking like snake. And... Let's see, I chose no facial hair, hair shaggy, black. Moving down to body details, we have a commando face paint. Moving on to clothes for snake, we have commando top and the Air Force uh, Digital Tiger. Um, let's just go ahead and skip down to pants. Same thing, commando pants, um, Digital Tiger. We have a Tac Tech plate carrier in khaki tan, and we have hiking boots in sandstone. Let's have a look at the accessories. Here's where I took I took one Liberty, and uh, I'll show his original idea too. All right, so we got eye patch. He said either the trapper eye patch or the regular one. I think the regular one is more authentic snake personally. In um, whoops, in black, yes sir, in black. Duchess cigar, come on, of course. And then I chose a stealth bandana. He actually um, said military beret and gave a variety of colors. It could be. This is fine too. I mean, this is also totally like snake right here, but I think the stealth bandana did it better. I guess pick your own. Um, I like it with the stealth bandana. This is more snake to me, but uh, they're both totally valid. Headsets, just earpiece in black. Handwear, we have sniper gloves in black. And then backpacks, we have camelback in, yep, yes indeed, sandstone. Thank you very much, Kaiser for your snake build that was cool that, that was i like the themed ones and we have we have some more like that here okay holt this uh, holt's outfit was submitted by initial d driver i believe uh, again uh, i believe i'm reading that correctly initial d driver thank you so much for holt's outfit 
This, he didn't really specify a theme, but this, I like this because this reminds me, this is like basically what we wore back in my day, uh, more or less. It's too bad there's no Alice pack. We have the Alice um, LBV and, and combat belt. I wish there was an Alice pack to go with it, but there's not. Anywho, so this is like, um, I guess this would be like a mm, uh, late 90s, 2000 era Marine. Well, I mean, I was in the Marines and this is what we wore. So there's that. Let's go ahead and have a look at this. All right, let's start off with the head. We have uh, nothing special here. I, I think it looks best with the Chevron mustache and squared away hair, brown hair. I think that really, really did look the best. I, I don't think he specified anything there. He did specify camo tattoos on the arms. Let's have a look at the clothes. Let's get into the meat of this outfit. Tops, commando in woodland vests, the Alice vest in olive drab. And then we have uh, commando pants in woodland as well. Combat boots. Oh, oh, they don't have colors. Okay, I knew that. Of course I knew that. Accessories. We have Rick's glasses. Um, well, as it happens, I wear glasses. And he, yeah, like everyone else, uh, I wore those big dorky glasses because that's what they issued you. <laughs> All right. Uh, no face wear. Uh, patrol cap in woodland. And then we got uh, just earpiece and... Uh, all of drab. I'm not sure if he specified that or not, but that's what we're running here. And uh, no mex gloves in neutral. And then we got the AMPRC 150 in Woodland. If I can make this just a little bit more authentic myself, I would get an Alice back, which doesn't exist in the game, and color it all of drab. And there you would have like the perfect late 90s, early 2000s era US soldier. Um, I like this. Of course, the weapon of choice would be an M16A2. Um, let's go ahead and move on to our last outfit. Whoops, didn't mean to back out there. Our last outfit we have is Weaver, and this was submitted by Arkthoron. All right, and this is the theme of this one. This is a mouthful. Royal Canadian Navy's Enhanced Naval Boarding Party Unit. Okay, so let's just shorten that, and this is the uh, Royal Canadian Navy. Royal Canadian Navy, there we go. Let's have a look at this outfit. It looks cool. I like I like how all these outfits contrast with one another so well, and they're all themed and they're great. Let's have a look at what goes into this. There was no head or body details, but that's because it's all covered, so don't, no worries there. Let's have a look at clothes. Top, we got fleece in black. We got a Tactech plate carrier in khaki tan. Cry precision combat pants in black. Commando footwear in black. And let's have a look at the accessories. Um, we have no eyewear. For face wear, we have the artillery balaclava in black. I just remembered um, this does, th he did send a picture with this one, so we'll include a picture at the end here. I forgot about that one. We have a, a fast ballistic helmet in solid gray. It's a regular earpiece in black, which you're not going to see. Nomex gloves in black and a camelback in black. Pretty simple. This is pretty much all black except for the khaki tan plate carrier. I like the look. And then uh, we chose the Canadian flag patch. I'll go ahead and put up that picture now he sent me of the unit. And so that's today's outfits, guys. Um, these were pretty simple, but man, they got a great contrast. Now, there's a couple things I want to say. Um, I probably should have mentioned some of this earlier. Remember, I ran that giveaway for the mirrorless action uh, screen recorder. Um, I did choose three winners and I announced them in the community tab of the YouTube page. So far, only one has uh, responded with his email address. I need you other two winners. If you're not sure if you won or not, check out that post on the community tab of my YouTube page and see if you won. And if you did, um, make sure to um, go ahead and just throw your email address in the comments so I can email you your free product code for the software. I don't think anyone else is going to see your email address. It should flag it for review. And then I'll see email and just delete the comments. So don't worry, no one's going to see your email address. I also want to just remind everyone we're doing this super cool uh, fundraiser this month. Uh, if you want to know details about that, just watch any of my Mark 17 testing videos and that will explain all of that. Also, don't forget to check out my other channel, Always Prepped. We got a new video coming out here in a couple days. It's really cool survival firearms um, kind of, kind of uh, prepping channel. Hmm. Always Prepped. Uh, there will be a link to that. Uh, my other channel down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me what you guys think of these outfits. And remember, always feel free to submit outfits of your own. Oh, guys, you know what? There was one thing I forgot, actually. Some of these did come with weapons. Um, I did take the time to set up Dusty's weapon because um, the pictures were so detailed we were able to recreate his rifle from the pics. So we got a stuck bot stock. 
a comp M4, of course the rifle's black, uh, 30 round magazine, an AFG grip, rail cover, just rail cover over the side rail, standard barrel and stock muzzle. All right, so thank you so much to Kaiser, Kendall Jack, Arc Thoron, and Initial D Driver for sending in these outfits. You can always submit outfits, and this is how you want to do it. Uh, go to my Discord. There's a link to my Discord server in the description of this video. And uh, send me a direct message with a, with a list of all of the gear. And pictures are helpful as well. Uh, that's how you submit outfits. We're getting so many submitted. I'm trying to keep up with these and do other videos too. What's my... I got to say, guys, I really like this snake outfit. Like, it's awesome. It is so awesome. I love the snake outfit, and the dusty one does look cool. Guys, thanks for your submissions. We got so much more to do. Check out my fundraiser on the Mark 17 videos. Guys, check the community tab. Always keep up to date on things that are going on there. Like, as for instance, right now, I have two prizes I'm trying to give away to winners, but they apparently haven't seen the post yet. Also, check out my other channel. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dark Dally. It's been a real pleasure. I will catch you guys next time.